everybody. Today I'm going to show you my top five picks for the best tools you can buy to change your own oil. And many people, including myself, change our own oil. We save a lot of money each time and you don't have to go to the dealer, wait in line, or spend a lot on extra things that they try to sell you. You can go down to AutoZone, Advanced Auto, or even Walmart, pick up a jug of oil and a filter. And then if you own these products, it means that you can change the oil in your own driveway. Now over the lifetime of your vehicle, that's gonna save you hundreds or even thousands of dollars. And doing it yourself is not only faster, but because it is so much cheaper, it's something that really anybody should look into. Now what I'm gonna do in this video is go through my top five picks. I'll show you why I like each one so much, but more importantly, I like to know if you agree with me. If you agree with the picks that I show you, leave a comment below the video and let people know how they're working out for you. Or if you know of other picks that might work better, leave a comment and let people know those because as they're researching how to change their oil, what you say might really help them out. Starting out with number five is a good set of ramps to pull your vehicle up on. Now this is a set of Rhino ramps with up to a 12,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating. And that means that these are designed for all cars, minivans, SUVs, and most trucks. Now I have no problem at all pulling my very large F350 four-wheel drive turbo diesel up on these. They did not crack, they did not break, and they had no problem at all holding up all that weight. Now remember when you are using ramps to change your oil, or let's say work on your vehicle, put something behind the rear tires, and that's gonna prevent it from accidentally rolling back if it pops out of gear, or let's say the brake lets go. You don't wanna be underneath of there if the vehicle does roll back, and by putting something behind the tires, it will prevent that. Number four is the Tecton 3 8 inch drive extra long ratchet. This will allow you to apply a lot of additional torque on a fastener. And when you're under a vehicle and you see the oil drain plug, you can place the Tecton on that, break it free very easily, and then remove it even if it was installed with an air impact wrench or an air ratchet. Number three is a very simple device called a Drain Plug Pro that consists of a screwdriver handle, a flexible shaft, and a very powerful magnet on the end. Once you use the ratchet to break the drain plug free, you'll attach this to the end and then spin it out completely. And because the magnetic end is going to hold onto that drain plug, it won't fall in the hot pan of oil. More importantly, the flexible shaft will allow you to keep your hand completely out of the way. And when that hot oil comes shooting out, you really minimize the risk of accidentally burning yourself. Number two is a good set of oil filter pliers like this set of channel locks. Now what these will allow you to do is easily remove a very tight filter, which otherwise you'd have a lot of trouble with because it's gonna lock on and not let go. You can clamp down, twist it, and it's gonna break the filter free. The oil is gonna come over the top and drip into your oil pan. And once it stops dripping, you can take it off the rest of the way by hand and then replace it with a fresh filter. And my number one favorite is the Lyle Multi-Application Oil Funnel Model 19342. It includes seven different adapters for working with different makes and models of vehicles, and also has a 45 degree elbow included. You'll remove an oil fill cap, install one of those adapters, and then plug the funnel directly in the top of it. And because it is sealed with an O-ring or a gasket, as you fill it up with oil, nothing's gonna leak out around the bottom. Unlike a traditional funnel, which can cause big problems, especially if you feed oil in too fast, this has a 1.6 quart reservoir. It's translucent, and you can see exactly where the oil level is. Just wait for it to drain down, continue to add oil, and it will make your oil change go extremely fast and make cleanup very minimal. When you're done, just check the oil levels, close the hood, and then you can back it down off the ramps. So now you've seen my top five picks for the best tools to buy to change your own oil. And like I showed you in those clips, you can do so in your own driveway. This is gonna make it a lot faster and you're gonna make a lot less mess. But more importantly, you're gonna save yourself a lot of time and money versus going to the dealer. They're gonna charge you a lot for the oil, a lot for the filter, and a lot for labor. And because you can really buy all these tools and after one or two oil changes, they're gonna pay for themselves. In the long run, you're gonna save yourself a lot of money each time you need to maintain your vehicle. Now, what I'd like to know is do you agree with my picks? Or are there other tools that you find more useful? Leave a comment below this video and let everybody know about it. As they're researching on how to change their own oil, they might read your comment and it might really help them out. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching.